All of us are here. Good. Now we need to discuss the elephant in the room. I don't want to go to therapy. I'm too cool to be seeing a shrink. The only reason I'm doing this is because we're legally required to do it. Do you know how messed up in the head you need to be to be legally required to see a therapist? Well, when you escape a zombie-infested city, witness countless people die, and go through half the trauma we have, you'd really start to wonder why we haven't gone sooner. I am both physically and mentally perfect in every possible way. You literally almost committed genocide. I stand by my statement. Who would even be qualified to be our therapist? Actually, I am qualified. I could do it for everyone. Great. Miss Sunshine and Rainbows is going to pry into the deep and dark recesses of our sick and twisted minds. Everything is going to go perfectly fine. Who wants to go first? No, nope. no thanks. I'll pass. I'd rather die. Another time. No way. Wesker. What? Why me? Because I said so. Let's go. God, I wish I were burning alive in a lake of lava right now. So are you comfortable? No. Want to tell me about your childhood? Nope. I feel like something is bothering you. What is it? I don't like people inside my head. Are we done yet? This is going to be a long day. So when do you think your life really took a turn for the worse? Uh, are you serious? A lot has changed about you. What happened to make you this way? I lost count of how many times someone has tried to kill me with a chainsaw. I think that's where it started. So you must really love your brother. Sometimes I imagine shoving broken glass down his throat and then choking him out with barbed wire. I see your relationship is complicated. If he mentions Leon getting in my pants one more time, I'll f So would you say you like deceiving people? Maybe a little too much sometimes? Oh my, I would never. What on earth made you think that? Don't you think you're a little too obsessed with your sister's happiness? Uh, nope. It's perfectly normal. Every brother's like that. So, uh, how do you feel right now? <sighs> Great talk. You're cured. <sighs> All right, guys. I have to confess I have no idea how to treat you all. I think we need some professional help. Back to square one. Who could we find that can handle all of us? Hey, I might know one guy. Really? Who? Ethan Winters, psychologist and trauma expert. He may be only doing this temporarily, but I know the guy. He can help us out. What other option do we have? Let's meet this guy. Ethan, old buddy, how have you been? Chris, what the hell are you doing here? My friends and I need some help. Can you give us some of your time? I'm currently with one of my patients. Would you come back later? That's all right, dear. I was just on my way out. Who is this very tall woman? An old acquaintance of Ethan's. You see, he's a trauma expert, and I needed some help with the extreme levels of trauma he put me through. You know I hate it when you show up here. That's why I do it, darling. You are Albert Wesker, correct? You look far more handsome in person than the picture you use in the group chat. You flatter me. Come visit my castle sometime. I'm sure you would enjoy my company far more than these flesh bags you surround yourself with. Shouldn't you be leaving now? Pushy man thing. I'll see you later, handsome. Wesker, what was that? Oh, uh, no idea, Rebecca. That woman was utterly repulsive. I mean, just look at her size. Just excessive. I don't mind some excessiveness. You know, I prefer petite frames compared to a mountain of woman. Big, beautiful. Huh? Ugly monstrosity that's less attractive than a fish. Chris, please get to the point of why you're here, and why you brought all of these people, and whatever that thing behind you is. That's Nemesis, and we're here to get therapy. We are kind of in a bind and need it, otherwise we're going to jail. Why on earth would I help you? Because we're buddies. You shot my wife! She was your fake wife, someone pretending to be her. Ethan, you know this. But still... Hold on. Ethan, did you bang that woman? Jesus, Chris, why would you ask that? You didn't answer me. Did you put your biscuits in her gravy? Oh my god. All right, I can see you desperately need it, so I'll give you all therapy. Who's first? Not me. Thanks for volunteering. The rest of you can wait outside till we're done. Wait, but that's not what... Let's begin. I just want you to know that my mind is trained. It's impenetrable. There's no way a simple shrink like you can break me. So, what seems to be troubling you? I feel divided. I want to be this cool emo and moody badass, but I can't help but feel like the innocent and naive cop from Raccoon City. I'll be acting all cool and then BAM! I see an ice cream truck or a swing set. Then I lose my emo self. You can't change who you are simply by altering your looks. The first step to change is the wanting and willingness to change. Everything else takes time. Shit. 
You got that out of me and made that make sense. You're some kind of therapy monster or something. No. I think you've just got a lot on your chest and need someone to talk to. You're actually being nice to me. I think I love you. Okay. I've got a lot of work to do here. Why are you having both of our sessions together? Yeah, what do we even have in common? I was talking with Leon, and although he was pretty much oblivious, it seems like the two of you share a very similar problem. Oh, what's that? You both like Leon. Ah, uh, gross. <laughs> Funny, Please don't make know. me sick. Why that would you think twerp? that? This sense of conflict is driving a wedge between not only the two of you, but also between you and him. I mean, why would you even think I like Leon? Just look at him. Describe his appearance to me. Well, he has a bowl cut. His eyes are kind and soft. His face is perfect. His muscles are chiseled by the gods. Oh god, you're right. The only way for this issue to be resolved is if one of you step up. You can never be at peace if you're at war with yourselves. What fortune cookie did you get that from? Now, Ada, let's talk about your need for insults. Oh no, here we go again. First of all, go f yourself, you bitch of a man. Fuck on a shit and cry to mommy like the little that you are. People gouge out their eyes so they don't have to see you. Your dick is so small you couldn't even pleasure a f Go f***ing in a ditch. Wow. No amount of therapy could fix this. No amount of plastic surgery could fix that face. Jesus Christ. So, Jill, care to tell me how you feel right now? Frustrated. Why are you feeling that way? Because my life is as messed up as Ada's sense of humor. It can't be that bad. I survived a literal hell called Raccoon City. I was hypnotized. Then I became friends with the people who made my life hell. And Ada is my neighbor. Do you know what the neighborhood named her? I agree she needs a lot of therapy, but that's not the issue here. It sure is an issue to me. I think you're blaming everyone else for your wrongdoings as a distraction from the real problems. What are my real problems, then? I want you to think for a moment. I believe you can tell me that yourself. I think... I think I didn't mind what I went through. It was rough, but I felt like the main character of my own story. Do you not feel like the character of your own story now? I guess I don't. Now I want you to think for a moment and tell me why that is. Because Chris treats me like a background character. Like anything I say doesn't even matter. Even when I tell him I like him. And that, I believe, is what's bothering you. Damn, you're good. That's what she... never mind. So, Chris. I spoke with the others, and it sounds like you have an obsession with continuing the Redfield bloodline by hooking up your sister with Leon. Can you tell me the reason you feel obligated to interfere with your sister's life like this? I want her to be happy, yet... But that's the trick. You don't see the point. Not with this or with her. I don't see the full picture. I don't think I realize how much my obsession is hurting our relationship. Why do you keep going and going on about something when there isn't a point to it? There isn't a need to run when there's nothing to run to. So, why are you running? I have to ask myself if there is even a point to any of the things I did. Why did I push so hard to put them together when I wasn't the one who needed to run? You can't force the ice to melt. If you do nothing, the ice will melt on its own. You just need patience. I shouldn't have interfered with her life like that in the first place. I just needed to be patient and she would have found happiness by herself instead of me forcing it on her. Ask yourself if what you're doing is really right. Ask yourself if what you're doing is really making her happy. Or just you. I've made up my mind. I'm going to stop pushing for Leon and Claire to be together. They need to discover their love on their own. The ice needs time to melt. Thank you, Ethan. You're very good at your job. What the f- Rebecca, right? That's me. You're good. You can just send the next one in. All right. So, Nemesis, tell me what's on your mind. We shouldn't be listening in on this. It's not like we'll understand him anyway. I see. That is a complicated situation. Why don't you tell me more about it? He's just messing with us, right? I never knew he felt that way. So, lastly, we have you, Wesker. Anything you want to talk about? Not particularly, no. How about telling me how you feel right now? Annoyed. I get the sense it's because you feel like you're being analyzed. I'm not here to judge or pick apart your brain. I'm only here to talk. I don't like talking. I think you're afraid to reveal yourself, so you put up a wall. What are you so afraid of people seeing? I am many things, but I am not afraid. Then prove it to me. Tell me what's behind the wall. A middle finger waving right at you. You're deflecting. I think you're afraid of people seeing the real you. I think you're scared of admitting who you really are, deep inside. 
Do tell. Who do you think I am down there? A good person. Someone who cares for their friends. Why might I be afraid of admitting something like that? Because you've hurt people in the past. I think you're afraid of hurting them again, so you close yourself off. I see. Let's say, hypothetically, you were correct. How might I be more comfortable with opening myself up to others? I'd say you'd need to start realizing how much you've changed. Go back and right any wrongs you can. Be the person you want to be when you look in the mirror. Then you'll have no problem opening up. Is there anyone in your past who you've wronged that you can make up to? There is someone that comes to mind. Then you see your first step. I think that concludes our sessions for today. Thank you. I'll get the others. All right. Now that is all the time I have for you all today. Thank you so much. I feel so much better. I can't wait for our next session. Next session? We are required to have multiple sessions. I'm glad I'll be getting to see more of you, buddy. Nope. Uh-uh. I'm not doing this again. But we need- I'll sign whatever you want. Just never come back here again. Hell yeah. Freedom again. I recommend some relaxing activities. Going to the beach or other social gatherings that let you see how normal people function. Hold on. Wesker, why do you look so troubled? I think it's time I make amends with someone I haven't seen for a very long time. Who? My son. You have a son? What the f-